Hey, this is Michael Jake. I wanted to uh, shoot a quick video for you to answer a question I'm getting from a lot of uh, subscribers and a lot of my students. And that is, can you assign an REO or a foreclosed property? Um, and the answer is, well, yes, you can assign an REO. You can assign any property you get under contract that has an assignment clause in the contract, meaning it allows you that provision. Now, the problem with REO properties is typically the lenders are not going to allow or they're not going to sign a contract that has that assignment provision in there. So just because you can do it doesn't mean they're going to allow you to do it. So I, I hope that makes sense. Now, what we do to get around that, or what we've done in the past to get around that, is we just simply do a double closing, or a simultaneous as, uh, closing, as it's sometimes called. In that case, you know, we've got the seller, uh, which owns the REO property, and yourself would be the buyer, and then typically you've got another buyer out here that is willing to pay a slightly higher price than what you've agreed the lender to sell it to you for. So you have a contract between you and the, and the seller, the REO property, and then you have another contract to sell to this buyer contingent on your ability to buy over here. Okay, what happens is this buyer brings in funds, typically which is enough to, enough to cover the purchase price plus your profit. This money is used to then close on your transaction over here and then the spread is your profit. Okay, so there's two, two real estate closings going on basically at the same time or minutes apart. Okay, that's one way to sidestep that problem. The problem is lately, a lot of the lenders are requiring investors, uh, even if you come to contract here, even if you've got this buyer over here, they're requiring you to have your own good funds to close on this transaction. So what does that mean? Even though this buyer has money sitting in escrow at the title company or the attorney, wherever you're, you're closing on the deal, even though this money is here and it's enough to cover this transaction as well, you still have to have your own funds, okay? Well, how do we make this a no money deal if you've got no money? Uh, typically we can use what's called flash cash and a lot of hard money lenders um, or IRA lenders, things like that, will basically provide flash cash for typically one and a half to two points is kind of a normal transaction. But here's the problem with flash cash. It's expensive. If you have a, let's say you're buying this here for $100,000 and you're selling it over here for $105,000, if you borrow that $100,000 and you pay two points for flash cash, you're paying $2,000. So basically, two grand out of your $5,000 profit is wasted just in the cost of funds. Okay? Well, that obviously, you know, three grand beats making nothing at all, but here's how we can completely sidestep the whole problem and keep your whole $5,000 in, in this example. And what we do is we go uh, create a new LLC. Okay, um, there's another way with a trust. Um, trusts work. You don't have to create anything special there. Problem is, lenders typically, if they see the trust as a buying entity on the contract, they're going to shy away. Uh, it's again, it's, you, you might as well put an assignment of contract provision in your contract because they're not going to like it. I'm not going to say you won't get any of these uh, accepted, but most of them will not accept your contract with a trust as the buyer. So instead of losing deals, just do it this way. Create your LLC. In Colorado, you can go on the Secretary of State's website for 50 bucks. You go create a shell LLC. You type in some information right on the website. Put your 50 bucks in, in, in like literally a matter of minutes, you can have your LLC. You don't need all the legal packet of stuff that you would get if you're going to actually use this to do business in. You're just using this LLC as the buyer on your contract with the REO property. Okay, so now you've got an LLC as the buyer. Uh, the seller of the REO signs a contract. Now, instead of doing a double closing, we simply sell our LLC to the end buyer for our fee. In an example, we're going to sell our LLC for $5,000 to the buyer. So the buyer pays us $5,000 and then they simply close to the same contract because now it's their LLC. So that is basically the easiest way to get around uh, an assignment of contract provision, which uh, typically REOs will not allow, uh, and allow you to make profits, and allow you not to have to raise flash cash or use any of your own money to make money flipping an REO. So this is Michael Jake. If you want some more uh, free real estate information, just check out the link over here, click on that, and I've got over $719 for the free stuff waiting for you. All right, have a great day.